there are four main different types of ways we can use battery from a Western Power perspective. We've got community battery, you've got a microgrid, standalone power system and a home battery. Each of the batteries have a different type of benefit. So community battery is a battery that's installed in a park often. From a customer perspective, it's a way that you can actually store your energy almost in a virtual sense in the battery and then draw on it later in the evening once the sun's gone down. A microgrid is another use for a battery. So what that is, is we're particularly in um, rural areas where we've got a long overhead network that's supplying a number of customers. When the network is faulted, the battery can then can disconnect from the main grid and the battery can continue to supply that small number of customers in rural areas. A standalone power system is a unit that consists of solar component, there's a form of uh, battery storage and it can also contain a backup generator. So these are a unit that are installed on an um, individual premise. So this is where we've traditionally had long stretches of network in largely rural areas. So where a standalone power system is actually a much more cost effective way to continue to meet a customer's energy needs. A home battery is a battery that a customer could install in their facility. So we really see this, this as an extension of what's happening with um, rooftop solar at the moment. Customers typically would install this for, for their own benefit to try and reduce their electricity bill and store any of the solar that they've generated locally. It is a really exciting time for batteries and solar um, in Western Australia.